We are now in week three of the college football season. Auburn getting ready to take on Texas A&M. And today we want to focus on some of Auburn's biggest playmakers, guys on the rise. For that, I bring in Wes Siner. He's on the Plains now. And Wes, let's start with Kyle Davis. What have you seen from him? What do you expect from him throughout the rest of the season? Uh, well, Kyle is a guy that, you know, missed most of, well, missed all of spring practice and, and most of uh, fall camp uh, with some injuries. And so, you know, he was a guy that Auburn brought in and, and he was one of the best receivers in the country. Uh, but they also had Nate Craig Myers, and he was able to go through all of fall camp, uh, you know, injury-free and everything. And so I think people were kind of expecting him to, uh, of all the freshmen that Auburn signed at that position, I think people were kind of expecting Nate to have a quicker start than Kyle did just because of his injuries. But, you know, he had he had a 43-yard catch against Clemson, and then he followed it up with uh, an incredible one-handed catch against Arkansas State where he just he fell backwards on it. I'm sure you've seen, you know, all the replays and everything. But... Um, you know, I think that Kyle has really uh, impressed, and I, I expect him to do uh, to keep doing big things for this team. All right, when you look at Cameron Petway at running back, we saw nothing from him in week one, zero carries. And then in week two, he explodes, 15 carries, 152 yards. Your thoughts on his uh, improvement from week one to week two, or productivity, should I say? Yeah, I mean, when, when he was held out of the Clemson game, I think everybody was, was pretty surprised. Um, but again, you know, Auburn really didn't run the ball that much in that game. Uh, at, at halftime, they had one rushing yard before Carryon Johnson kind of picked it up there in the second half uh, because he only had two two carries in the first half. So, um, you know, I think that Auburn probably regrets not playing Cameron Petway against Clemson, whether they want to admit it or not. I mean, he's he's uh, kind of a bulldozer, just big fullback guy that can can run north and south really well, and he's he's quicker than I think most people realize. And so he's just, you know, 240 pounds up the middle. And I think that, um, you know, what he showed against Arkansas State, given it is a Sun Belt team, but 15 carries for 151 yards, you could really kind of see him in action finally. So I think that he'll be probably uh, more involved in the game plan uh, as we move forward here into SEC play. Yeah, Wes, you know what they say. They always say hindsight 2020. Now, Joshua Holsey, a guy that's been battling injuries throughout his Auburn career. What have you seen from him in these last two weeks? Uh, yeah, Josh Holsey, you know, just kind of a, a – a pretty good story here. He uh, he, he was injured in uh, 2013, came back in 2014 and played, and then last season uh, tore his second ACL in the second game of the year. Thought about giving up football, uh, but drew a lot of inspiration from his father, who uh, lost part of his lower leg in a uh, 2004, I believe, explosion. Um, and so he's an army, you know, an army dad. And he, and and I know that Josh Holsey has said this numerous time, numerous times, but. You know, he just figured if his dad is still able to do all these things, then he should be able to to come back uh, from a second ACL injury and 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 just he's just happy to be back out on the field. And I think that everybody saw, you know, against Clemson that he he really impressed me personally. He kept a a pair, a pair of touchdown passes uh, out of the end zone with a couple pass break breakups, and then uh, you know after being pressured by Carl Lawson, Deshaun Watson threw an interception to to Holsey. So I think it's it's good to see him. You know, not only being able to play, but playing well, I think, for this team. And so he's he's a fifth-year senior. A lot of guys uh, look up to him. So uh, he's a guy that you really like having in the secondary right now.